Hey, hey guys, and what's up, TFS? It's your girl, Fun Size, and I'm back with another fun creation. Today on the menu, we have Embracing Your Flaws. And because you're my favorite, of course, I've snagged us some snacks from the menu to help us discuss turning those flaws into strengths. Welcome to my restaurant, Self-ish, where we're all about positivity, liberation, empowerment, and nurturing self-love and self-care. I'll be your host, Fun Size, of course, Budara photographer, mindset, and body image coach. So today's special is a dose of selfishness, and I hope that you guys actually enjoy the show. All right, so today on the show, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a story time for you guys. So if you hear these little noises in the background, I apologize. I kind of think they don't work out front of the house. But nonetheless, all right. Let me tell you a story about embracing your flaws and turning them into strengths from the perspective, of course, from a Budar photographer slash a mindset coach. So I had a client who was super self-conscious about her stretch marks. And we will just call her August. So August was convinced that her stretch marks would ruin her boudoir photos and make her look unattractive. But as a mindset coach, I knew that her stretch marks were, I want to say they didn't define her beauty. They were more so her rewards from life. And stretch marks are a natural and common occurrence that can appear on anyone, regardless of age, gender, or body type. And I've actually been... I want to say, a, I want to say victim, but I've also been in a situation like this, a story within a story, and a young lady, it wasn't even a young lady, it was a gentleman, a while back when I was um, a little bit more on the plus size, came up to me and was like, hey, did you have a baby? You're just in the third, and I'm like, well, why did I need to have a baby? And then the same person did it again when I lost weight and asked me if I had a baby, and I'm like, bro, you do know stretch marks come from either one or two things, you either gained weight and lost weight, or you was big and little and little and got big. Them no only two options, big and little and little and got big. So, in the words of Cat Williams, as he's trending right now, that's hilarious to think of that. Nonetheless, I wanted to, like, literally add that story time into another story time and say, this was a relatable conversation for me, okay? It was a relatable conversation because I, too, have been, I don't even have the words for that given moment. All I know is in that given time that it happened, the mindset that I had, and my mindset it has nothing to do with what I have right now. But let me just get back into the story. Focus, fun size, focus. As a mindset coach, like I said, I knew that her stretch marks didn't define her beauty. They were her rewards from life. And this was a relatable conversation that we can talk about because, like I said, stretch marks are natural. And it's a common occurrence that can appear on anyone, regardless of their gender, their body type, or their age. And while they're often viewed as a cosmetic imperfection, stretch marks can actually have a few benefits. So I'm also going to get into that to talk well to counteract i want to say counteract i don't even got the words right now because i'm so excited to tell the story and for today's topic so shout out to the young lady that actually sent this to me but firstly stretch marks are a sign that your body has gone through a period of growth or change like i said this could be due to weight gain pregnancy puberty or muscle growth in other words stretch marks are a testament to your body's ability to adapt and evolve that's what I mean when I say their rewards from life. Additionally, stretch marks can serve as a reminder of a significant time in your life. Like I said, when I was bigger and then I was losing weight at that time, I was going through so much domestics in that relationship I was with, so much heartache and so much of, I want to say, trauma at that given time during a relationship that I wasn't worried about my weight. I wasn't worried about no damn stretch marks. I wasn't worried about my parents. I, child, I was literally trying to survive, make it to the next day without trying to figure out if I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> like, I ain't even going to hold you. So that was like the last thing on the top of my mind. So again, the Having clients that I can work with that have relatable conversations where we can come together and build this unionship and this community is a benefit within itself. Like I'm trying to get you guys to understand as your body image coach, we have to embrace those flaws that we already have. And if stretch marks are your biggest flaws right now, I'm here to let you know, baby, you are not alone. You are not alone. Okay. But again, stretch marks, they serve as your reminder of the significant time you had in your life. For example, a woman may have stretch marks on her abdomen from carrying a child. And those marks can serve as a reminder of the incredible experience of pregnancy and childbirth. Is that not 
like a reward within itself. Like stretch marks can help to promote body positivity and self acceptance. And again, take my advice with a grain of salt. But if you're here in the restaurant and you're eating and dining today, then you might want to, you know, hold off on the salt because we make our food with flavor, baby. <laughs> we make our food with flavor. Not to mention we live, because let me focus and stay on topic. We live in a society that often emphasizes physical perfection, but the reality is that no one has a flawless body. Like nobody has a flawless body. Even Beyonce has flaws. Um, What's her name right now? Because that is my baby. Tiana Taylor. Wow, wow, wow. Had the baby. It was like, boom, we out here. Krishan Rock just had a baby. Like, boom. Um, you Nobody body out here is flawless. You feel me? Even the ones that we are seeing on a day-to-day -day basis that we consider to be or may not consider to be role models, but they are influences in our day-to-day -day lives because they're on our TV screens, you have to understand, like, everybody go through the same mental mindset that you are having when it comes to wanting to learn how to embrace your body and embrace your flaws. But the trick is to learn how to turn those flaws into strengths so then you can learn how to accept yourself for the body that God has given you. Because in the same breath, while you're learning how to dislike those things and be comfortable with talking about them you also have to counteract that negative mindset with a positive mindset and say for example i don't like the stretch marks that i had but i do know that these are my battle wounds like these ain't even my battle wounds these are my rewards from that fight that i had or it might, might not even be a fight we genuinely have stretch marks like child you may not even been through no shit you just got big and lost them and weight or you was you know little and gained some damn weight and you got the stretch marks like Call yourself a tiger. Like, <laughs> call yourself a tiger. Like, I can't even think um of the quote from the City Girls right now. But it's a perfect quote. And you know exactly what I mean when I say, call yourself the damn tiger. But either way, they serve as a reminder of your growth and change. And not everyone's physical, like, abil or attributes. I about to say abilities. But not everyone's physical abilities. I keep saying it again. <laughs> Stretch marks may not be everyone's favorite physical attribute is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I got a punch down and a crunch down, but I had to and I got it out. But they can also have some positive aspects. And like I said, they serve as a reminder of growth and change. It can promote body positivity and self-love. They're also something you need to keep in mind. Like I said, they natural. It's a natural part of your human experience. And, you know, but before I get even more off sidetrack, we're going to get back to the story because knowing all of this as a mindset coach, I was determined to help August see that. You understand? It was so, it's relatable. You came to me in August. I want you to understand that today, Lord willing, by the time we get to this end of your meal, we are going to have you have a different mindset when it comes to embracing your flaws and turning them into strengths. Okay? All right. But, you know, y'all hear me a little parched over here. So y'all already know what we're about to get into. Water break. If you're new here, you have no idea what the heck that means. That just means that I'm going to take a few seconds to myself to hydrate myself and you are going to do the same. Take a few minutes, pause this podcast and this video and head over to hydrate yourself if you already haven't brought your coffee and wine and glass of water over with your little notebook and pen. And while you're at it, stay tuned to listen to this commercial as well. Guys! It is about that time, and since 2021, we have been honoring National Drink Wine Day. And baby, you best to believe that we are going to be celebrating it in 2024, because it will be no different. Now, for those of you who are new here, thank you for tuning into the podcast. Don't forget to leave us a rating. But we like to celebrate National Drink Wine Day, and that day actually falls on the same day every year, which is February the 18th. So in honor of reflecting on the many benefits of wine, as well as your role, well, not your role, but the role it has played with you in human history and society is why we honor National Drink Wine Day on February the 18th. So over here at the fun space, you know, we enjoy pampering our clients with light refreshments, light makeup, and hair services, and of course, a chill glass of wine to ease the mind. So in honor of this holiday, we are giving back to our lens queens. Yes, we are. The ones who believed in us and celebrated with us, who support us all year round. So from now until February 17th, we will be giving you a chance mm -hmm. to feel liberated and empowered because you already know as a lens queen, you don't run from a challenge, you run towards them. So me and the team will be giving away a free Boudoir 
photo shoot to 12 lucky queens who are looking to boost their self-confidence through self-discipline. We are looking for women who want to capture stunning photographs, embrace their body so they can celebrate their self-confidence, individuality, and sensuality. Queens, uh, we want to capture the essence of your beauty and empower you to become the best version of yourself. So if this sounds like something that you are into, just know we are giving it away for a discounted fee this year. Last year it was $499.99 to book it. This year we're doing it for $249.99 in honor of saying thank you guys for supporting us and being around for all of our crazy shenanigans. And this alone is saving you an additional $301, I believe it was. So thank you for drinking wine. Look at you creating new habits that stick. So Another thing I want to mention, do not stress out about how to pose or what to wear. Don't worry because I will personally guide you through the poses that will highlight your best features and help you to bring out that inner self-confidence. So whether you want to create an intimate gift for your boo thing or embrace your body positivity or simply just looking for ways to have a confidence boosting experience, this special for our annual National Drink Wine Day is a perfect gift for your self-love journey and the perfect gift to reward yourself with. So if you're going to capture your unique beauty and create memories that last a lifetime, then the time is now. Not when you lose weight, not when you're in a relationship, not once you get the kids together, not after you decide to get out of school, not after you go to the gym and start that membership that you know for a fact by the time March comes, you ain't even going. The time for mental health is now. So act fast, don't wait, because literally you only have until February 17th, and we all know that time waits for no one. Don't be hitting me up on February the 18th on National Drink Wine Day talking about, hey, can I still get that damn discount? No, you cannot, because I gave you more than enough time to get it, okay? So I'll see you during Black Friday if I decide to do something. <laughs> That's if we decide to do something. So take advantage of this special that is happening that will literally only happen this one time this year and if you are ready to learn the art of self-love and care so that you can become the best version of yourself then send me a message on instagram or facebook at fun size photography photography spell f-o-t-o-g-r-a-p-h-y and message me the word boost that's literally the word boost b-o-o-s-t and i'll set up as a phone chat so we can literally get this ball rolling so you can become the best version of yourself learn how to regulate your emotions control your impulses and get your mindset to be on that growth mindset for you to become the best version of yourself that i keep repeating okay okay and we are back you should be hydrated so let's jump right back into the show so, during the photo shoot, I encouraged August to embrace our stretch marks, of course, and I even made them focus, well, the main focus of some of the shots that were actually taken. I told her that they were a beautiful reminder of the journey her body had been through and that they added character to her photos, you know, just to add a little spice on top of it. And you know what happened next? Well, of course you don't, but I'm going to tell you. So, <laughs> well, let me tell you, okay? Those photos actually turned out incredible she looked absolutely stunning and radiant confidence superb at the world okay but i mean that's just my opinion versus hers but the best part actually i mean i even say this my opinion because the best part was she ended up loving her stretch marks she ended up loving them so much she realized that they were a unique part of her and that they didn't define her work or beauty, which is exactly what the end goal is when a client books the Boost Your Self Confidence Package. So you know I'm over here like, I love it in my GZ voice. Yeah, like, I love it when a plan comes together. Mm. Excuse me. So like, okay, now whenever I see her, she's proud about her stretch marks, okay? And tells everyone about how she's learned to embrace her flaws and turn them into her strengths. How do I know this? Because I be reading her captions and her posts when she be posted on social media. Not <laughs> neither here nor there. And you know what? It's, it's made her even more beautiful in my eyes. So I appreciate her willingness to tell her story so that other queens can learn how to embrace themselves as well. But before I get to the overall moral of the story 
Now, not only did she learn how to embrace her flaws and fall in love with her stretch marks, but she even shocked me when she decided during the photo reveal, hey, I want to actually get some images. Now, I won't say she shocked me because my work, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> pops my collar, speaks for itself enough. But it shocked me because originally August was, um, I want to, what was August? August was, I can't remember which month it was from the story I'm trying to tell you exactly to answer the young lady who sent us the question for today's menu. Um, nonetheless, August was a winner for one of my giveaways. I do remember that. I just can't remember exactly which month it was for, but she was a winner for one of my giveaways. So she technically didn't have to buy anything on the back end. The whole deal was she won a free photo shoot. Her session fee was waived. Buying additional prints and products was optional. So it shocked me when she was like, hey, this is what I want to do. Because originally we started with the mindset of believing I don't like this about myself. I don't care for my stretch marks. I don't really want to see this. To her being, you know, a little bit stiff on the camera to getting more comfortable with it. Because we also practiced the poses during the virtual wardrobe session prior to the photo shoot. So she was kind of familiar with the poses, although they were a little bit more stiff. But it's different from practicing on the phone versus practicing face-to-face -face in front of the lenses and the lights. And it's lights, camera, action. I already know this from firsthand and going through the experience. Nonetheless, it shocked me because, like I said, during the photo reveal, having all of that mindset, and then you later on come to the conclusion of, you know what, I love this. I love this picture, and it just shows my stomach, and it doesn't show my face. I love this picture where it just shows my legs, and it doesn't show my stomach. I love this image where it just shows my arm, and it doesn't show, like, my whole body, but it has my half. Like, I'm literally giving you the feedback that was coming back to me, and those were the main things. Because before, when we first initially were going over the images, it was... Okay, I don't like this. I don't like that. And it was like, hey, go back to your mindset sessions and start over. Tell me the things that you do love about it and stop tearing yourself down. Because at the end of the day, you have to be mindful of what you say to yourself and speak into the universe, especially if you want to help yourself become the best version of yourself. And I'm saying that to you as well. If you want to learn how to embrace your flaws, literally learn how to turn them into your strengths. And that right there is like, where I'm going to leave it at before I give y'all, you know, the outro on how we get into it. But the moral of the story is embracing your flaws and turning them into strengths is a powerful thing. It can transform the way you see yourself and give you the confidence of conquering anything. So don't be afraid, you know what I'm saying, to embrace your imperfections. They make you who you are and that's something to be proud of. It's important to remember that we all have flaws and that's okay. In fact, in fact, our flaws are what makes us unique and special. Not to mention, we've all heard it before, but now it's actually kind of time to embrace it. It's one thing to hear it being said to us, but it's another thing when we actually take what we're being told, receiving the information, and actually letting it register, allowing it to register, and then being able to reiterate what we just learned. <laughs> that those are, those are big steps during your self-love journey that you need to be mindful of so you can learn how to celebrate them as they're happening. You got to be more self-aware, my boy. Like I said, it's one thing to hear it. It's another thing to do it. Be about it. Do not be passive. Be proactive. So whether it's whether it's stretch marks, scars, or any other imperfection, learning to love and accept those aspects of ourselves can be truly liberating. So embracing them, like I said, during all of this, I know it's a difficult journey, but it's one that we all know is worth it. It's worth taking the damn journey. You got to remove those chains that are hindering you from becoming the best version of yourself. And I'm not big about fixing your body because your body was never broken to begin with. Like, you don't have to go to the gym and sit over there and say, oh, I need to shed this weight. Because if your mindset's still messed up, baby, you're going to be a baddie and a baddie body with a baddie mindset. And that mindset going to be fucked up. Like, we all know how the baddies, quote unquote, nowadays are labeled. Like, y'all are just ratchet as hell. Like, it got to a point where I'm saying, I don't even want to be a baddie no more, baby. Even call me a goddess or a queen. Um, I don't want to be in the category. Like, I don't... I don't want to be, you know what, because why did it get such a bad connotation? Like, you know, it is what it is. Times have evolved. Get with the times, my boy. And that's how I feel about it. Get with the times. It's not about fixing your body. You got to, well, your overall well-being. It is about fixing your body. Let me correct that. It is about fixing your body, but that also includes your mental as well. You got to start with the mindset okay it's about recognizing that our flaws do not define us and that's what i mean when i say you got to be mindful of that negative self-talk that you allow to live in your mind rent free you feel me you got to recognize that our flaws don't define us and that we are so much more than the sum of our parts you understand 
You are more than just a sex object. You are more than just the marks on you, the scars on you, the stretch marks on you, the wounds you went through, the trauma you've been through. You are more than that. You feel me? So the next time you feeling self-conscious about something, try to shift your perspective and see it as a strength. Embrace your flaws and turn them into strengths. That's how you learn how to embrace your flaws, okay? And at the end of the day, who knows? You might just surprise yourself with how beautiful and powerful you truly are. All you have to do is give that time, attention, and love that you pour into and seek from others to yourself. Because you obviously still have some healing to do like the rest of us. Plus, if you made it to this part, you already know we're all out of snacks, my boy. <laughs> we're all out of snacks. So what I want you to do is love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself. And remember that you don't owe it to anybody to become the best version of yourself other than you. So I love you. And thanks for choosing to eat at Selfish, <laughs> the restaurant. Thank you for stopping past the restaurant today, and I hope you enjoy this food for your mind. We open daily and would love for you to be a part of our VIP team. So don't forget to rate the show and share us with your friends so that they can become the best version of themselves, too. If you want advice and have questions, send me a voice note on Instagram at Fun Size Photography. Photography spelled F-O-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. We need to be sure that your 2024 hits the million marks this year and those accounts are flowing with abundance. So no mental blocks this year at all. No excuses. If you're listening and watching me over on the YouTube channel at Fun Size Creations, you can see some of my behind the scenes from previous sessions and actually put a voice to a face. So welcome to the fun tribe and be you, do you, and be true. But more importantly, remember, don't forget to love yourself before trying to love someone else and do one thing a day that gets you out of your comfort zone because you deserve the finer things in life. That includes hurrying over to my VIP site over on Facebook so that you can also begin manifesting your positive energy through affirmations and boudoir photography. That's facebook.com slash groups slash fun and bold. So we are not making any excuses. You don't have to wait for a podcast to launch. You don't have to wait for a YouTube video to drop, a reel to post, an uh, Instagram video, or Facebook. Everything is already right there at your disposal. So later for now. And... Brrr.